Ahoy there makers, Raspberry Pi have just announced the new AI Hat Plus. It's a busy month for releases in October, so let's have a closer look at what this one is all about. So yes, this is the new Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus. So the AI Hat Plus is a new AI accelerator based on the Halo line of accelerators. You've seen this Halo used before in the AI kit, but this one now comes with a separate version. So we have a, a Halo L and that can do 26 tops versus the 13 of the existing model. So it comes in these two varieties there. This is great for process control, security, home automation, robotics, all kinds of cool applications and as i said available in the 13 or 26 tera operations per second variants built around the halo 8 l or halo 8 neural network inference accelerator so the 13 tops variant capability runs neural network applications including object detection semantic and instance uh, segmentation pose estimation and more so the 26 tops version can handle much larger neural networks run them up much quicker and can effectively run multiple networks similarly Simultaneously. So that's a really cool application. I can see this working with, for example, two cameras at the same time. The latest version of Raspberry Pi OS automatically detects onboard Halo accelerators and makes the NPU accessible for AI com computational tasks. So we can do some of the training and offload that to a much quicker processor and the built-in Raspberry Pi camera applications the RPI cam apps uh, they all detect this natively as well and they can use that um, to offload the task to the NPU as well. So let's have a look at some of the specifications of this. So like I said, it comes in the Halo 8 or Halo 8L accelerators. They offer up to 26 tera operations per second, which is just a ridiculous speed. And they're fully integrated into the Raspberry Pi camera software stack, building the models and using the models for inference. They conform to the Raspberry Pi Hat Plus specification. So that means it's uh, uh, compatible with Raspberry Fives uh, upwards. And they're supplied with the 16 millimeter stacking headers, the spacers, the screws to enable uh, fixtures on the Raspberry Pi 5 with the active cooler in place. So the kind of applications we can look at, as we've said very briefly there, image classification, so you can you know, detect what images are, uh, what objects are in a particular image. You can do semantic image segmentation, so you can separate things from their background. You can do object detection, so you can see where they are localized within the, within the image, as well as the objects that have been detected. And you can also do pose estimation as well. And obviously you can do that for multiple uh, people at the same time. So this is the lineup for fall 2024 for the Raspberry Pi AI products. We've got the AI kit, which was the first one to be launched. We have the AI camera module, which does all the inference in the camera module itself. And we've now got the Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus, which has the module built onto a convenient hat form factor. Now I was thinking about this like pros and cons. Um, the thing I was thinking about is why don't they have an extra connector there so you could plug in an SSD on top of the, the AI Hat Plus. But this comes down to the amount of processing bandwidth that's required to send data you know, backwards and forwards to this accelerator. Uh, and you simply wouldn't be able to have an SSD working at the same time as that is my understanding. So come at me in the comments if I've got that wrong. So why buy one of these? So it's the best way to accelerate AI models on Raspberry Pi. It comes with everything you need to accelerate your models faster than a, an Apple M3 processor, in fact, which can only do 18 tops. <laughs> uh, and it's affordable and accessible way to get into AI as well. So if you want to know about how to build your own custom model, I made this video you can just see just here, which is a DIY AI model with PyTorch. So definitely check that one out if, if you want to learn more about that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.